So, hey guys, Chauzo here, and I wanted to talk about this more leak because it's very interesting in three different ways in my opinion. So I want to go through all of them, but first let's begin with reading this tweet, and the tweet is made by Moria's voice actor Katsuhisa Hoki. And yeah, let's read it in Japanese and then try and work out why it's so significant. Okay, so it reads Ohayo, Yatto Rimpuku no Kaicho ga Sekinin, Do Narukoto Yara, Kyoba Game no Chikoto, Corona, Olympic to Avatar Jikedo, Mask Teara San Mitsure Gambaro, Suno Nimamote Gambaruzo. And yeah, like then, in there it's just a pun on. The Japanese Gambaruso, like let's work hard, but they put in the <laughs> kanji for elephant and then just throw the few, few elephants. But yeah, a lot about this here is about the you know what that you aren't allowed to talk about on YouTube. But yeah, also some other tidbits like the Olympic chief resigning. There's been a lot of it on the news, like even where I live. And then the most significant thing is Kyoba game no Shikoto, which me which means today I'm going to do some game work. And like if you take that into the context of the picture, like it really implies that the picture is related to the work. And since this person is more as voice actor and everything about that art screams One Piece Treasure Cruise. And it even says that it's post-evolution. Then, yeah. More is like all but confirmed. But yeah, let's first talk, start to talk about it being a Moria. Because, like if you'd asked me yesterday... Will Moria ever get a legend? And I, I just say like, hell no. That train has gone. He's not popular enough. Like, why do that now? Like, I give a lot of reasons. But here we are. And what is mostly significant to me is that we're getting a post-time skip Moria. And yeah, like... I wasn't expecting a Moria, but I was even less expecting that if a Legend Moria happens, it's post time skip. Like, honestly, post time skip Moria is a joke, basically. Like, he, he's always a joke, but even more of a joke now. So, yeah, I'm not sure the reasoning. Like, we can talk a lot about what it could be. Like, is this going to be a future Halloween legend? Or is it going to be a Hachinosu batch? And what units could be in that batch. And I think I'll run with that idea. Because the alternative is that this more isn't releasing on Japan for over half a year. And I feel that is a bit too speculative. But if you think about it in terms of a Hachinosu batch. Then you have to think who are the potential units. And yeah, we almost never get a batch with just one unit. Unless it's Kisna or something. So... We can safely assume that Moria is one legend. And who could the others be? Like, the obvious guess is Blackbeard, of course. A V3 one. But I think it would be more fun if it was a uh, legend Shiryu. I feel it would be more fitting and very fun to get something else. And there's obviously other alternatives, like it not being Hashinosu, it being some other random event. And there's a lot of potential for rare recruits too. If it's Hachinosu, we have a lot of Blackbeard members not having any single unit. In particular, I know Katarina Devon. That would be super cool in a batch. So yeah, it has a lot of potential. I really hope it's a Hachinosu batch. And I really hope it doesn't have a Blackbeard. But I just have to accept that it will be with a Blackbeard in that case. And yeah. Another thing that's cool about Mori is that he has some nice supports, mainly the Kuma. Very nice for him. Also some other ones. 
But yeah, I think we'll move on to the next topic. I'm still very shocked that this is even happening. And the most shocking thing is, which is my second point I want to talk about, is that the leak happened in like one of the few ways where we can like say that Legend Moria is all but confirmed. Like it's quite hilarious how this happened. So it's his voice actor saying he's going to do game work is related to this picture. And the way units work in One Piece Treasure Cruise is that the only voice characters are really legends. The only modern exceptions are like various straw hat pirates in various settings. Like a unit like Moria will never get voice lines in One Piece Treasure Cruise unless it's a legend. So the fact that Moria's Seiyu, his voice actor, leaked this picture and said he's going to do gamer work. Like, the only conclusion you can do is that he's going to vo do the voice for a Legend Moria. And then, of course, we have the fact that the art looks like a bit too good to be anything but a legend. See, I just think the whole situation is hilarious. Like, what was the Seiyu even thinking? Like... It should be common sense, like in whatever field that you just you don't just leak things. Like if as a professional say you too, I like I doubt that movies are much different either or series. Like you don't just disclose information like yeah I think it's hilarious and he did delete the tweet too. So so yeah. You you like like never get a leak like this where something that could be far in the future is like already confirmed. It's really weird. And that moves us on to the last topic, and it's that we're going to get a unique insight into the development of One Piece Treasure Cruise because we now know we, we can safely assume based on the info we have that this voice actor is now going to record voices for a future Legend Moria. And we do not know when this Legend Moria is going to release. We really don't know the timeline. Many seem to assume that this is the next legend. Like, we have no idea about that. There's, like, there's no hints or anything implying that. We know that... The, they have a timeline and we don't really know where they are on this timeline like how often do they need to record voices for legends like i personally assume that most of the voices were just ripped from the anime so that's kind of weird too and then like we we just don't know how far ahead they plan like if this is halloween for example we're talking about over half a year in the future and already preparing it like I can see this this case unfolding that we go like two, three months without this Moria releasing and we start getting Reddit posts about uh, guys, what happened to Moria? Did Bandai scrap it? And it's like, like, how should we, like, how can you, it's, it's just, we can't really get any information from this except for that sometime this year we're going, we'll probably get a Moria legend. But yeah, the interesting thing will be like when he actually releases because then we can at least say, oh, so when they do the voice recording, they are a far around this far away from release. And we know they've already done the art at this point. So yeah, I think it's very exciting to find that out myself. So yeah, I think that's all I got to say about this. I'm hardly excited. Like, I'd be happy if he was a unique legend. Like, I feel like Bandai are doing a good job on legends lately with making them pretty unique. At least one legend every batch. So I look forward to seeing who he is. But I think hyped is the wrong word. But hey, everything that isn't Wano is a win in my opinion. Like, we'll get enough Wano as it is. So hopefully we get some pre-time skip love too. That's my biggest annoyance with this is that they went with post time skip for a bash with Moria it's utterly ridiculous in my opinion but yeah 
I think I'll stop there. Thanks for watching. See you next time.